hi everybody and banana welcome to my channel so listen you guys we are about to mind label m's business it's a sunday and usually on the sunday the sunday world will give us an indication on whose business we need to mind that sunday and label m's business is uh, one of those today <laughs> <laughs> so listen if you are somebody that doesn't like minding other people's business this is not a video for you for the rest of you come over here and let's do our sunday thing and gossip about label m so you guys there's a story that came out on the sunday well written by ngwako malaji he's talking about how label m is supposed to hand over this uh, mercedes vans that he bought because he has missed some uh, payments i'm wondering you guys what's happening because remember label m has been in the news recently because he is once again divorcing his you know wife and the wife had also spoken to the sunday world through somebody to say that the reason that label m is divorcing her is because label m is about to receive millions from this company in america and the reason that he was about to receive those millions was uh, was because he had recently sold his music catalog okay remember he's on um lion king it's been uh, i mean people have made comments about how he is not really the uh, producer of lion king but he does music and even with music he's done certain uh, songs on the lion king it's not like the whole he produced the whole lion king this is what uh zoe did, uh, said in an interview that he uh, she did on a show mix show okay so i don't know you guys but every time they talk about lion king we think label m because i've always thought that that was his creation okay but nonetheless you guys there were reports that he was about to receive million so i'm wondering you guys what's happening here is it because maybe the money hasn't come through that he is not uh, able to pay for the installment for the car i'm just wondering what's happening here because he's if he's received so much because i remember it was a lot of money i just don't remember the exact amount but it was millions of friends so i i don't think that he wouldn't pay his he wouldn't pay his car if you know the money had come already so ngago malaj is writing for the sunday world and it says lebu m refuses to hand over his mercedes to the dealer okay because i guess the contract fell through because he hasn't kept his side of you know the agreement lion king producer and uh casanova level m is refusing to head over his luxury vehicle he bought from mercedes benz after failing to keep up with the monthly payment this is according to the application for default judgment a uh, mercedes benz financial services submitted in the johannesburg high court against label m full name label Hang morake last week in the application in which the Sunday world has seen, uh, Mercedes-Benz Financial Services says it entered into an agreement with Label M on the 6th of March 2020 in Santin, in which they agreed to give him a loan to, pay, to buy a Mercedes-Benz A200 for the sum of 478000 Label M agreed to pay the loan over 71 months in installments of 8,255 francs. Okay, the installment is also bad, you guys, especially if you are a man or tataksale. Okay, which we assume a uh, level uh, M is. I don't know. Okay, he also agreed to remit more than 183,000 rands residual payment on uh, March the 10th, 2026, after paying his uh, final monthly installment. Once he pays off the vehicle, it will then be transferred to his name. The plaintiff uh, would be entitled in the event of the default installment to issue combined summons to recover from the defendant collections cost and default administration charges incurred by the plaintiff in enforcing the installment sale agreement with uh, the court uh, application. Listen, you guys, this is a, a, a funny thing about a debt is that because I've seen it with myself, okay? Because I've defaulted. <laughs> I've defaulted, okay? We've gone through some financial things in life. You know, the funny thing would be that, let's just say that you have an account in World Rights and you have defaulted. And usually the installment to pay the account at a closing shop, for example, is, is usually not a lot. So when you, when you can't pay it, it's because you really don't have it. <laughs> like honestly because it's not a big amount okay 
so now when now they've handed it over to the collectors the funny thing would be that now they would have charged you even more which is like a craziest thing for me because it's like listen i couldn't pay the 2000 rand <laughs> so now you've added 500 rand you've added 200 rand and then now every time you call me you are adding the the um you know like the calls when they make a call to you they will charge it to your statement you're charging me so like if i couldn't afford to pay the debt got two thousand rand now how do you think i'm going to now be able to pay the debt of three thousand five hundred rand? it's the craziest thing for me okay <laughs> <laughs> but obviously they do know that in order for you now to get to a point where you are you clear up your name you are going to have to pay it but it's usually very funny to me when i'd like listen i couldn't pay the main debt okay so i guess even with him here you guys there's like additional uh costs now administration fee uh, they say it's default administration charges uh that he now owes he also agreed that uh should a level m fail to pay any amount due in terms of the sale agreement in the due date the install the outstanding balance shall pay additional interest uh charges okay the two parties further agree that mercedes benz will be entitled to cancel the agreement and take possession of the vehicle from a level m should he fail to fulfill the end of the deal so this is obvious you guys especially when it comes to you know the car you know when you are no longer paying for it you know they shall collect it it would also retain all payments already made if he breached the contract mercedes Benz stated that level m breached the agreement when he failed to make a uh, due and punctual monthly payments on the account as a result of his tardiness level m is in areas uh, of more than twenty thousand eight hundred rand. i mean which i think because we have the impression that these people are rich sometimes it will be like i am i mean so he can't pay the twenty thousand eight hundred rands that's not a lot <laughs> you know the entity also stated that when level m defaulted on his monthly repayment his outstanding balance on the vehicle loan was 371 a thousand let's see you guys it was like how much had he paid because the full was uh 478 000. so now he is at 371 000. despite a, a lawful written demand the defendant has failed to make a payment of areas and the plaintiff has elected to cancel the installment sale agreement take reposition uh, of the uh, of the vehicle and claim the difference between the outstanding balance and any amount realized from the sale of the vehicle in the future reads the application the company said that after the cancellation of the sale agreement, it wrote a letter to Level M and asked him to surrender the vehicle uh, at least 10 days after the delivery of uh, the notice to his residential address. Listen, you guys, I actually think that it's better to just, especially if you know that your financial um, challenges are not something that is like really temporary. It's not a thing of, I know next week I'm going to have money to pay uh it's actually better to just be the one that voluntarily just takes the car back and uh, just say listen i can't afford this car what deal can we make uh and maybe even your story is not gonna end up on the sunday world okay <laughs> so uh it says here the company said that after the cancellation of the sale agreement it wrote a letter to label m and asked him to surrender the vehicle at least uh, 10 days after the delivery of the notice to his residential address at least 10 days after the delivery of the notice had elapsed and the defendant had not responded to the section 129 uh, 1a notice to surrender the vehicle to the plaintiff in the premises uh, the plaintiff is entitled to an order authorizing the sheriff of the high court to attach seize and hand over the vehicle to the plaintiff reads the application level m's public the relations manager osim pio majola had not responded to the sunday world's request for comment at the time of uh ongoing uh of going to print okay so he never uh, commented on it you guys do I think that the story is true? Because listen, you guys, when it comes to the Sunday world, they will write these articles that have so many details on it that it makes you believe that the story is true. But on Monday, the celebrities always come out to say, listen, I know nothing about that, okay? For all you know, Ule was just going to come out and say, I don't even own a Mercedes Benz, so I don't know what you guys are on about. 
<laughs> but usually you guys where there is smoke there is fire okay so that's what's happening with level m hey, remember when he said that uh the reason he's uh, divorcing his wife is because his wife we are tagata because at some point he found umuti a uh, is coming sanko skies hey, maybe this is it okay now <laughs> The natural science, you know, in uh, instruction by the wife, you know, <laughs> the wife has instructed the natural science to make him struggle. Okay. I guess it's working for the ex-wife, you guys, because really we don't want to see exes uh, do well when they have refused to pay us ama alimony or anything like that. Okay. They must suffer. <laughs> Anyway, you guys, tell me what you think about this in the comment section. Do you think that this story is true? And are you like me where you thought uh, Level M was so rich that it, it, things like this wouldn't happen? You know, I thought he's just rolling in uh, cash. Anyway, thank you so much, you guys, for watching this video. Please like it before you make your share it with your friends, with your family, and even with strangers. Of course.